Hello my fellow storytellers. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to utilize the self-shadowing bump map feature of Source Engine. Now, brief history. Self-shadowing bump, ma bump maps or SS bumps are a particular type of texture map that is only utilized within Source Engine. Two examples are I have before here. On the on the left, I have a normal uh, normal map that you would be used that would be used for defining depth and um, granularity within a texture. On the right, I have an SS bump map. Now, the main difference between an SS bump and a standard bump map and a standard normal map is that SS bump creates shadows. Now. In the olden days of game development, and in the olden days of Valve, they were trying to solve an issue on how to make the textures of uh, Source Engine to work with dynamic lighting. So, SS Bump was an involuntary precursor to what we call ambient occlusion nowadays. It's extremely similar, and you could get very similar results to how ambient occlusion functions in present day uh, game engines utilizing SS Bump. Now, uh, SS Bump's capabilities can um, be it can be utilized with a normal map and a standardized bump map. However, it may it depends on which branch of Source Engine you're using that the bump map may be overridden by the SS Bump map. In addition, um, this will be uh, evolved upon later in the video. In order to utilize an SS bump map, you need to uh, define the flag within the uh, valve material file in order to tell source, hey, this is an SS bump map. Now, some limitations. SS bumps are not taxing unless paired with a normal map. You need to be careful whenever you are using them within your maps on in large doses because it can be extremely taxing on your system. So it would be best to use them on floors where the player is going to be moving around a lot. It is also going to be beneficial to create Subtextures that are of the same texture but do not have the SS bump that you could use on details around the walls of your level that aren't going to be stared out by the player as much. So let's get into it. How do we turn a regular normal map into an SS bump map so that we can use self shadowing uh, textures? So, right here, I created this nice metro brick texture for us in a uh, blender and we're going to be porting this to source now i have three maps here which is uh the diffuse map the uh the re reflection map and the normal map um what you would need to do is that you would you would take your diffuse map use that n normally and then you would take your uh, reflection map and use that normally. However, you would need to do something special with the normal map. So let's move on to File Explorer and I'll show you guys there. All right, so here we are in File Explorer. So what you'll do is that you'll go to the bin folder of your mod or your game that you're going to be modding for. Go to the bin folder and then you should find an executable named normal to SS bump. If you use the height to normal or the height to SS bump, those will not function correctly. The problem with height to SS bump, though it accepts normal maps, it can only it, it cannot do 4K textures. If you do 4K textures in this program, it will freeze. So, 
you would need to use the normal 2SS buff bolt. All right. Now I'm going to move on to our export folder for Blender. All right. Now here we are in our Blender export folder. This is where all of your exported, um, all your exported videos and uh, actually not videos, all your exported animations, all and your exported textures go for when you're uh, creating creating and baking textures in Blender. After you bake your all your textures out and um, you um, have them in this folder, you select the normal map. Also important when you are in Blender, ensure to uh, save uh, your image as a Targa file. And it, specifically, I like using Targa Raw since that contains all the raw data within the image, but you could also save it as a Targa. The, um, the uh, file extension for Targa is TGA and will be under the save as options when you go to save your um, image. As a matter of fact, let's head back to Blender and I'll show you how to do this. All right, so back in Blender, we have our, we have our Metro Brick texture, our Metro Brick normal to be exact. So what we're going to do is do save as, and then in, in this save as, uh, save as section, you're going to go up here to file format and select Targa Raw, Targa Raw, or Targa. Ensure that the um, image in question does not have an alpha, as that messes up with the uh, alpha channel that SS the, that the SS bump executable utilizes in order to create. Uh, self shadowing bump maps. So, with that in mind, let us head back to File Explorer. Alright, here we are back in our Blender export folder. What we're going to do is that we're going to take our normal map Targa, we're going to go back to the bin folder of our mod or game, drag the normal map Targa onto the normal to SS bump executable, you'll see a small command prompt appear, and then the executable will return the SS bump to the folder of which your normal map originated from. Once you have this, you will then take it to, uh, to either VMT edit or VTF edit and um, convert it into a Valve texture file. Card in the top right will lead you to a tutorial on how to do that. When we go back to our mod or game folder, we will then go to the materials of, uh, we will then go where we saved the material file of our, SF, of our um, textures. In this case, I made a metro brick material. Once you locate once you locate your uh, your material, edit it uh, edit the valve edit the map uh, the valve material file with either a uh, with either VTF edit or um, or a text editor. Um, VMT editor doesn't seem to like normal maps and SS uh, normal maps and bump maps together. So in order to make this work correctly, you need to do it manually. <coughs> so be mindful of the directories and names of your texture files and um, where they are located. In addition to that, ensure you have the tag dollar sign a quote a quote dollar sign ss bump one what that flag does is 
ensure that SS bump will be enabled for this texture. If you want to double check it, you can look into VMT editor and just select SS bump. And then you'll see the tag right here. As you can see, I made a mistake and I forgot two quotes around the one. After that, you then make sure you your uh, bump map matches the name of your uh, the name of of your texture file. In this case, since I converted it using um, normal to SS bump, normal to SS bump, the normal to SS bump executable has place underscore SS bump behind the main name. So in this instance, I'm going to just copy that and then paste it into the path of the um, of the bump map when it comes to the valve texture file. Then you're going to press enter to make a new line. And in this case, you're going to type in dollar sign normal map. Then type in, uh, then copy and paste the, the path to your SS bump map. And in this instance, since I just uh, since SS bump is just a added on portion to my normal map name, I am just going to get rid of that and leave it as Metro brick underscore uh, Metro underscore brick underscore edit. After that, you're going to save it and it will be all set for being used in source. Let's head over to the engine so that we can take a look at it in action. All right, so here we are in source where our new uh, texture is being held. As you can see, uh, the reflections are working properly, but more importantly, the SS bump and normal map are working together to uh, create the ridges of the brick. Now, the only way to ensure that your SS bump is functioning correctly is to utilize a dynamic light, such as the HEV suit flashlight. Once you have the suit enabled, you can then shine your flashlight on top of the texture. And if there are dark spots where they should be, which would be on the sides of cracks, then your uh, lighting is, uh, then your uh, self shadowing bump map is functioning correctly. If not, um, then uh, check your, uh, uh, check the configuration in your, uh, in your valve material file. Thank you guys. Hope this was helpful. Have a good day, everyone.